Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to make a transparent signature image that you could use to insert into your documents so that way you don't have to print them out, sign it, and then scan it back into email. You could just paste this or insert the signature into your documents and send it off or you could insert it into your documents and then print it if you want to do you know, multiple documents or print it with the signature in there for example. Okay, so I have this signature scan for Joe Smith that I just made up. So it's a good idea to use a thicker uh, type of pen, like a felt tip, or even this was a fine, fine point sharp. You obviously you don't want to go too thick because it's going to look weird. So you can play around with the thickness and see what works best for you. So I have the site here, Online PNG Tools. There's many sites that do this, but this seems to do a good job. And there's also ways you could try to do it in Windows, like with Paint 3D, but it's too complex for signatures. If you're a Photoshop user, then it's super easy to do, but this is a way to do it for free. So what you could do is you drag your signature into there. Okay, then it makes the transparency. That's what these gray and white checkerboard, that's usually the kind of sign for transparent. So then I'm going to save it. I'm going to download it into my scans and let's Okay, so now I have my transparent scan here, and you open it up, it looks the same because the Windows Photo Viewer doesn't show the transparency. So now I have this Employee of the Month certificate here, so I'm going to insert my signature. You could do this in other programs too. Go to the Insert menu, go to Pictures, this device, go to my Scans folder, Transparent Scan, and there it is. And then you could resize it. And what you want to do in Word, obviously, is you don't want it to be um, text, so you want to uh, have it in front of text. That way you could move it around and resize it. And now you can see as we move it, it's transparent, so only the text shows up. And then I could just kind of put it in here. And you could even rotate it if you, you know, if you need to straighten it out or whatever. And there you go. Now you have your signed document and you could actually save this as a PDF and send it off and it looks like you actually signed it. So I'll put a link to this uh, website in the uh, description and you could try it out for yourself and take it from there. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.